It was a warm, sunny day on the railway, and the engines were just about to start work. Hey, Alfred. Yeah, Jordy. Ever since I came to the railway, I thought I wasn't gonna enjoy it very much as I thought I would. But in the end, I actually really enjoyed my time here, and I'm really happy that I stayed here with you guys, because you're all like the friendliest engines I ever met, and I'm so happy to be here right now. That's great to hear, Jordy, and we're happy that you're here with us. Just then, Mr. Tycoon arrived. Everyone, I want you all to meet a very special friend of mine. I haven't seen him for like a very long time, and I would like you all to meet him. His name is Charlie, and he's a Jew. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Maybe coming here was a bad idea after all. Ah, ah. Oh, oh, oh! It was only just a dream. Thank God for that. Oh, thank God for that. Hey, Trixie, we're best friends, right? Well, yes, of course we are, Susie. And best friends can tell each other anything, right? Well, I suppose. Okay, well, uh, well, you see, it's just that, well, I'm not really attracted to male engines. Wait, what? So you mean you're actually attracted to male coaches then? Because I guess that's all right. There's no problem with that. No, no, I mean, I'm attracted to female engines. Wait, what? Oh. This is a bit awkward. It's just that that I was always into female engines, and I do have my reasons why I am. Hey, hey, it's all cool, Susie. <laughs> I'm not gonna let her be my back engine again. Promise me you won't tell anyone about this. Don't worry, I I won't. Thanks, Trixie. You're the world's greatest friend. Yep, that's me. <laughs> Hey there, Susie. What have you been up to? Oh, hey, Misty. I was just talking to my good friend Trixie. Huh? Where did she go? Oh my God! Oh my God! Everyone, Susie is gay. <sighs> that Trixie is so beautiful. Hey, Susie. Oh, hey, Boris. You're looking really good today, Susie. All beautiful, gorgeous, and sexy. Um, thank you, Boris. I was just wondering if you would like to come to the transfer yard shed tonight, and you and I can just hang out for a while. And do some other fun stuff, you know. Um, I think I'm good, Boris. What's wrong? Is it because I'm not a girl? Wait, what? How did you know I was gay? Well, Trixie told me. That son of a. Trixie, get here now! Whoa, whoa, Susie, what's the matter? Did you tell Boris I was gay? Susie, <laughs> I told everyone you're gay. Wait, what? No! Ah, ah, ah! Oh, it was only just a dream. Thank God for that. Oh, one day we'll be together, Trixie, forever. I know we will. Ah. Alfred! Yes, Yellow Dash? I'm a banana! 
You're a what? I'm a banana! What the hell? I'm a banana! Oh, huh, that was a funny dream. Me turning into a banana. <laughs> oh well, time to get back to sleep. Hey, Yellow Dash. Aw, oh, hey, Trixie. I can't stop to talk now. I gotta deliver these flatbeds to the transfer yard. Oh, okay then. See ya, Yellow Dash. Bye, Trixie. What the hell just happened? Trixie, are you okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. J jelly He's some- Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Um, okay then. That was weird. Alfred! Alfred! Misty! Misty! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Trixie, calm down. What's the matter? Okay, so, I saw Yellow Dash, and I was going to say hi to him, but then he had to get going, and then when we said goodbye to each other, and then a giant hand grabbed Yellow Dash and pushed him along like if he was a toy train. Okay, that is just weird. Yeah, I think you're seeing things, Trixie. No, I'm not! Hey, what's going on here? Yeah, is everything okay? Okay, to prove you that I'm not saying things... Uh, Misty, do you have to get going now? Uh, yes I do. Okay, you can go. And everyone, watch Misty as she goes. Well, um... Uh, goodbye everyone, I guess. You see? You see that? All I saw was just Misty doing her job like she always does. Really? No one saw the hand? No. No. This can't be real. This all has to be a dream or something. I think it is. Or you just have to go into the box now. The box? Yeah, the box. Over there. Yeah, maybe sometime in there we'll get your head all cleared up, Trixie. No. No! No, please! I don't want to go in the box! Anything but that! Please! Please! No! Ah! 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 It was only just a nightmare. Thank God for that. Ah. <sighs> Barry is a tank engine who lives on a little railway on the island of Sodom. He's a cheeky little engine with four small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler and a short stumpy... Alright, that's enough. Jesus Christ. He's a fussy little engine too, Ow, you always bashing trucks about his line. There were two other engines on his line too. They were Leonard, the big green diesel, and Arse Face, the yellow tank engine who couldn't talk because he had a bum for a face. Poor old Arse Face. Ugh. Oh. Huh. That was a really weird dream. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Hello everyone. Welcome back to SteveMojo.com. I am of course your host, Steve, and I'm his best friend, Barry, yeah, that's right, and today we're going to be looking at the top 10 anime fights, yeah boy, anyway, 
let's get on to the list. Number 10, Alfred vs. Jelly. Wow, look at them go, swinging their lifesavers around. Look at that. Number 9, SpongeBob vs. Patrick. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh dear, mind those people with a foot fetish out there. Number 8, Ronald McDonald vs. Hungry Jacks. Oh my goodness, that poor kid. Oh dear me, I'm sure he's alright. Number 7, Guy vs. Door. Whoa, that's a knockout. Yeah, he showed that door who's the boss. Number 6, Arthur punches his sister, what's her name? Yeah, that shows her not to mess with Arthur's stuff. Number 5, Mario vs. Steve. Oh, look at that, they're punching each other, intensely. My goodness, this is intense. And at one point, Steve goes super sane and kicks the crap out of Mario. That is amazing. Hey, you wanna go, Steve? What? You wanna fight me? No, I'll fight you, buddy. Alright, come at me, bro. I will. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, take this yeah, and take, take some this. of that. And, and that. have a little bit of this. Whoa. <laughs> that was a pretty weird dream. And a bit funny, too. Ooh. It's been such a long time since we've seen each other, big brother. I don't think it's been a long time since we've seen each other. I have been gone for a while. A while? You've been gone for four years since you left this railway. I know, and I missed you all very much. But I miss you most of all, though, sis. Aw, oh, that's so sweet of you. Tell me, what was it like on the railway? Oh, it was really good there. The sights there were great. The railway was amazing. And the engines there are really friendly as well. That's amazing. I guess you enjoyed the railway so much that you forgot how much of a good railway this is. You might have also forgotten how lonely I was when you left. Sis, you were never alone. I was always with you. You know, the first time I saw you guys, I thought you two were dating. Way to ruin the moment like you always do, Bobby. Aw, oh, come on. I never ruined anything. Besides, if you guys weren't brother and sister, I'm sure you guys would be such a great couple, and also a cute one as well. You're really funny, you know that, Bobby? Yeah, I am pretty funny sometimes. Anyway, I gotta deliver these flatbeds to the docks now. They aren't gonna deliver themselves, you know. See ya, Maria. Bye, Wilson. We're glad you came back. Thanks, Bobby. I've been gone for so long that I forgot how annoying Bobby can be sometimes. Aw, oh, come on. He's not that annoying. He's just really happy that you came back, Wilson. I know, and I'm glad I'm back after such a long time. We're all very happy that you came back, Wilson. Sam, I'm so happy to see you. And I'm very happy to see you too, Wilson. Welcome back to the London Railway. Thanks, Sam. How you been? I've been great, thanks. So tell me, what was it like on the railway? Do you have any great stories to tell us? Oh yes, I got lots of stories. I'll tell you some of them tonight with the other engines. Can you tell us one now, please, Wilson? Of course, sis. Anything for you. And so Wilson told Maria and Sam one of his stories on the Texas Midland Railway.
Ah, yes, I remember those days. Good times they were, in a way. I think our trip to this railway has been fantastic. Oh, yes, me too. And the engines here are really friendly as well, just like Alfred here. <laughs> Ah! Oh! 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 God damn it! Oh! Why does my past keep haunting me?